In this video, we will be looking at the new AccuProbe IR leak detector, part number 69320. Inside the rugged carrying case, you will find the AccuProbe IR leak detector, a USB charging cable, the user manual, and a spare filter. The 17-inch flexible wand on the AccuProbe IR makes it easy to find leaks even in the hard-to-reach areas. The screw-on filter at the end of the wand simplifies the process for changing the filter if it becomes contaminated. Inside the durable ABS housing is the AccuProbe IR state-of-the-art infrared sensor for ultimate sensitivity, accuracy, and reliability, which makes identifying even the smallest leaks fast and easy. It detects all CFC, HCFC, HFC, and HFO refrigerants including R134A, R404A, R410A, and R1234YF, and can detect leaks all the way down to 0.1 ounces per year. The detector is powered by a high-capacity lithium-ion rechargeable battery that provides a battery life of 8 hours continuous use and can be fully recharged in 3 hours or less anywhere you charge your phone. For the purpose of the operation overview, we have silenced the detector, but keep in mind that the detector provides both visual and audible notifications during use. The AccuProbe IR operation is simple with just two buttons and a series of LED indicators. Turn the detector on or off by long pressing the on off button. The power LED will illuminate green once the device has been powered on. During warm up, the unit will beep slowly and the signal LEDs will continuously scroll from left to right until warm up is complete. Warm up time is 45 to 90 seconds. The detector is ready for use when the signal LEDs stop scrolling from left to right and a different beep rate can be heard. If a leak is detected, the signal LEDs will illuminate from left to right and the beep rate will increase. The number of LEDs illuminated indicates the strength of the leak. The detector can be set to either high or low sensitivity. High is the default setting during power on. Short pressing the on off button will change the detector sensitivity between these two settings. The high or low LED will illuminate to indicate the current sensitivity setting. There are two modes of operation for the AccuProbe IR. The default mode is standard mode. In standard mode, the detector automatically zeroes to the background refrigerant. Once it zeroes, the alarm will stop and it will only alarm when it senses a higher concentration of refrigerant. To reset the zero point, hold the probe in clean air for a few seconds to allow the detector to re-zero. Short pressing the mode button allows you to switch the AccuProbe IR between standard mode and manual mode. Manual mode is indicated by the first signal LED slow blinking and both the high and low LEDs being off. In manual mode, if a leak is detected, the detector will alarm until the mode button is long pressed. The high and low LEDs will blink for one second to indicate the detector is zeroing. At this point, the detector will only alarm if a higher concentration of refrigerant is detected. You can also reset the zero point by holding the detector in clean air and long pressing the mode button again. The power LED will slowly blink red when the battery is 10% or less. If the battery is depleted completely, the power LED will illuminate solid red and the unit will not operate. To charge the unit, plug the supplied micro USB cable into the charging port at the base of the detector. Use any phone charger adapter to charge the unit. When charging, the power LED will slow blink green until fully charged, then remain solid green. For more information on the AccuProbe IR leak detector, visit yellowjacket.com.